I'm going to do number four of the tear off section. Four of tear off. So four says that a farmer wishes to enclose a rectangular piece of land to create three equal garden areas as shown by using 160 yards of fencing. So he has 160 yards of fencing. Find a function a of x, so a of x, and goes question mark, that's what they want us to find, which gives the total area enclosed in terms of x. So the important part is in terms of x. So we can't have any y's in there. And then they want us to define the domain. So we have a piece of land with three equal areas. And they tell us that x is this side, and y is the whole bottom. So if it's equal, that means that this is also x, this is also x, and this is also x. And he has 160 yards of fencing to fence this whole area. So that's going to equal our perimeter. So 160 equals perimeter. Okay. So I need an equation for my perimeter. So remember, with perimeters, you add all the sides. So I'm going to have two y's and one, two, three, four x's equals your perimeter. Because you have four x's here, because you can't just say two x, we also need to fence the inside parts. So he needs fencing for those inside parts. So 160 also equals my perimeter. So I have 2y plus 4x equals 160. But they wanted an equation for area. So our area is just going to be x times y. Because area, we multiply length times width, and we don't have to multiply by the insides here. But they want it in terms of x, which means this needs to go. So in order to solve for y, I'm going to use my perimeter equation. So I have 2y plus 4x equals 160. And I'm going to solve for y. Um, yes. So 2y equals 160 minus 4x. And then I can divide by 2. y equals 160 minus 4x over 2. And then I simplify that to y equals 80 minus 2x. So I'm going to take this and plug it into there. So I now have a of x equals x times 80 minus 2x. So a of x equals 80x minus 2x squared. And that is your equation for area in terms of x. Now they say find the domain. And so what happens with this is we can't have a negative area. So I need to set this equation greater than zero. Now some people debate like you can have a zero area. So or it can be 80x minus 2x squared is greater than or equal to zero. And they took either answer. Mm -hmm. So here I solve for x. I have to factor my x back out. And now I solve, I set each part greater than zero, so x is to be greater than, you put an equal sign, greater than zero, or 80 minus 2x has to be greater than zero, so 80 has to be greater than 2x, and 40 has to be greater than x. So we know that it has to be between zero and 40, or with brackets, zero and 40. Okay, so this is the domain. Okay. Domain. Then for part B, it says use your function to find the dimensions that will enclose an area of 800 yards. So we're going to, we have now have an area of 800 yards. And I'm going to erase some of this so we have room. Just 
right here. Okay. <clears throat> so use your function to find a dimension that will close an area of 800 yards. So now area equals 800. So we have our equation. So 800 equals 80x minus 2x squared. Okay, so I'm going to set it all equal to one side. So I have 2x squared minus 80x plus 800 equals 0. Now I want to factor out a 2 to make it a little easier. So my 2 cancels off. Now this factors nicely. So I have 20, 20. Two negatives, so x equals 20. And now we also need to find a y value. We have an equation, so y equals 80 minus 2x. y equals 80 minus 2 times 20. y equals 80 minus 40. And I'll write it up here. y equals 40. So let's go through all of this one more time. So they have this land that's split into three equal areas, and they want us to find area in terms of x. So they gave us a perimeter before. So we solve it in terms of perimeter, and then we solve for y, and we plug it into the area equation. So we have area all in terms of x's. There's no y's anywhere. If it said in terms of y's, then it would be all y's and no x's. Then we solve for the domain. We can't have a negative area, so we set it greater than zero or greater than or equal to zero. And then that's the first part of the problem. And now they say there's an area of 800 yards, so we have an area, and they want us to find the dimensions. So we solve for x, and once we have x, then we can plug it into our y equation and solve for y. And this is number four of the tarot.